Israeli News Live. Always tension there in Jerusalem, especially East Jerusalem and even around the Old City. There's been many attempts that have been on the Israeli lives there. Uh, Arab attackers, there was one recently on Arut Sheva. There's a video there you can see on their website here on December the 4th where a 16-year-old Arab youth got a knife from an employee of the store there and attacked two men in their 50s, a security, armed security personnel that was actually there at the store. He's off duty, but uh, had his weapon with him. He did uh, ab was able to apprehend the young man. He shot him. Uh, he lightly wounded him in, in the shooting, but was able to take him into custody. Uh, also, in, in other news there, we... Israel is going back to the polls here in the springtime. Prime Minister Netanyahu, seeing the government is falling apart and no one can agree upon what to do, has called for early elections. Of course, Ms. Levini has really been uh, hammering hard against the prime minister and said that he was fearful. And, and one comment that she made there and, and went on to blast him even further, saying that the people are the ones that put him into the seat as prime minister, and they have the power also to remove him. And as I saw these particular comments from Ms. Levini, who is the um, um, a minister there in Israel, it really concerned me. Of course, she is for the two-state solution. She is the one that was uh, in the process of brokering the peace agreement uh, that was appointed there uh, by Netanyahu to be part of that team to broker the peace agreement there of a two-state two solution during uh, John Kerry's nine-month negotiation process, which did seemingly did not bring about anything other than a lot of violence in Israel. Uh, also, Obama met with King uh, Abdullah II in Washington, D.C., and of course their major topic was the uh, unrest between the Israelis and the Palestinian Arabs in Jerusalem. Uh, so a lot of interesting things that are going on inside Israel, or around Israel, um, just really, really disheartening. There was also a, an attack of a young woman who was uh, uh, waiting to try to cap, uh, catch Israelis coming in and out of a, a little border point there, was armed with a knife, but she was apprehended as well. Uh, and of course, in the, in the supermarket stabbing, there was a lot of blood on the floor there because the attacker did wound both men there in the attack. One man, you can see him swinging the knife and just striking it right across his head. And the other man, uh, he wounded on his shoulder in the attack uh, as that went on. But anyhow, there, there is a lot, of, uh, a lot of talk going on uh, also in uh, Miss Levini in a report that has been brought out uh, also on December 5th uh, regarding her is that her and um, um, uh, Herzog are very close to agreeing on a joint list uh, they will be running in this election coming up. That was Channel 10 News reported that on Friday evening. Uh, and it says here, as a part of the agreement being formulated, the second spot on the Labor Party Knesset list will be reserved for Levini. Another place in the top ten on the list will be reserved for former Minister Amir Peretz. Another possibility is that Kadima Chairman Shaul Mofaz will join the agreement as well, in which case he too may be guaranteed a spot in the Labor Party's top ten list as well. Uh, it's very uncertain as of right now what will actually take place in Israel during the elections that are coming up. One thing's for sure though, we do know that the land will be divided. Uh, it is a biblical prophecy that lays within the Tanakh, the, the Jewish Bible, that says that they will. And of course God speaks about his anger that will be as a result for the dividing of his land. So I wouldn't want to be in the shoes of those that are willing to divide the land, regardless of who it is. But nonetheless, there's going to be a prime minister somewhere along the way, whether it be Prime Minister Netanyahu or another one that may come along that will break this covenant according to Daniel's prophecy in chapter 9. I'm Stephen Bendenu with Israeli News Live. Good evening.